What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Vincent Esposito and today we are going to be making a root vegetable soup. Now, I know spring is coming, uh, it's gonna start getting warmer out, but I know sometimes it's very, it's very tough to find some recipes. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a bunch of vegetables. Sometimes you might not know what to do with them or you might, you don't know what to do before you get rid of them. So today we're gonna make a soup that I think is very flexible. You can do a bunch of different ingredients if you want with it. You could add different veggies and stuff. We're kinda of gonna all blend it together and you'll see how it comes together. But we're gonna go out root vegetables today. So we're gonna have some sweet potatoes. We're gonna have some turnips. We'll have the, the basics of soup. So we'll put that together and we're gonna blend it up and it's gonna be awesome. But before we get to that, if you haven't before, please like and subscribe to the channel. Coming out videos every week uh, on health, nutrition, wellness, longevity, gut health, plant-based recipes. Find all of it here on the channel. Um, so please subscribe, you'll get updates every week. Um, but let's get right into the recipe. I will see you on the other side. Okay, so root vegetable soup. So skip the part where we're gonna cut all the uh, aromatics up. The reason being, it's kind of redundant to do it all the time. I'd love to know in the comments if you want me to going forward or not. So we have a white onion here. We had some ginger and some garlic. Now we went in with some root vegetables. We got some parsnips, we got some carrots, got some celery. We're gonna sweat that down for a few minutes after getting the onion aromatic, which is four or five minutes. So we're looking at about 10 minutes total. We're gonna stir occasionally uh, to avoid burning. Now, we're gonna braise it with a little bit of red wine. Uh, that was about a cup of red wine or so, or maybe a half cup, somewhere in the middle. Let's go with three fourths, fourths cup. Raise the heat so we burn some of that alcohol off, and then once that happens, we go in with turnips, we go in with a couple sweet potatoes, and we go in with a head of cauliflower. All of these vegetables are just kind of roughly chopped. Um, ideally, you wanna get them around the same size so they cook about evenly, but at the end of the day, how you cut them doesn't necessarily matter because we're gonna blend it all up. Now, we go in with some cannellini beans too. That's adds some more protein and fiber to this kind of awesome soup that we're gonna put together. And we're gonna stir it. Now, there's a lot of different vegetables in here, so you can see me struggling with this a little bit as we're going along here. But it all turns out good in the end. So after this cooks down for a few minutes, it is time to start adding uh, water or stock. Now, I went in with about I think five or six cups of veggie stock and then maybe a cup or so of, of water on top. Now you really only wanna add enough liquid so you're covering all the veggies um, so they cook properly. Then we're gonna go in with our spices. We have a bunch of different spices here. We have some curry, we have some cumin, um, and I think we have a little bit of cloves. We're gonna go in with some salt and pepper as well. You don't wanna over salt it in the beginning, especially if it cooks down because you kinda can't come back from it. Um, so at least through this first stage, don't overdo it. About a tablespoon of salt. I mean, this is a lot of a lot of soup. So a tablespoon of salt is absolutely fine. We're gonna cover this. We're gonna bring this to a boil and then bring it to a simmer. And then about 20 to 25 minutes later, look at what we got. Now, you're looking for a texture here when you cook that you can basically cut these vegetables with like a fork or spoon. So just put, push, push one up against the side of the pan and then see if you could just cut it with a spoon. Usually it's about 20, 25 minutes, could take a little longer depending on the size of the pot. And then as you can see, as we're going through here, we're immersion, but we've used our immersion blender and we are blending up this entire soup. That is gonna take a couple minutes. You wanna wait for it to cool a little bit first, and then we're gonna go in with the blender and you wanna make it even and homogenous. Alternatively, if you do not have an immersion blender, you can spoon the soup into a blender and do it in batches. That will obviously take longer. If you have an immersion blender, that is more ideal. You notice I went in with about another cup or so of water. I wanted the soup to be a little thinner for soup. Um, so adding water, especially at this stage, is kind of ideal. And again, we just wanna make sure we have an even mixture. You could season with salt and pepper as you need it, but our soup here is pretty much done. So that's it. Again, this is a super flexible recipe as you're going along. You could do it with different vegetables because we're essentially just spinning them up at the end and going. But now it's time to plate our soup, the exciting part. So we're gonna go in with a few ladles of our vegetable soup here. And then you see we have some toppings on the side that we're gonna go in with as well. Now you could use a bunch of different things. I have some red chili flakes. I love heat, so chili flakes are a go-to for me. 
scallions add some nice crunch. You could use nutritional yeast, you can use chili powder, you can go a bunch of different ways. So just use the garnishes you want. You could garnish with sesame oil if you want it more of um, an Asian flair. But that's our dish today, guys. Root vegetable soup. Super versatile recipe, because again, if you're making a soup, especially in bulk, you can blend it. You could use a bunch of different ingredients to kind of get that texture. Again, use mine as kind of like a baseline and then put your own spin on it. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe this week, guys. Please like and subscribe if you did. Comment if you've tried something like this before. I'd love to know what you think. If you do try it, I'd love to know how it comes out. Let's chat below. So I will see you down there. And until next time, guys, take care and I'll see you then.